For a small state, Maine has a lot of museums, but many of them are modest in size, hardly known to people who live more than an hour's drive away. A case in point, a museum in Brunswick. And what it lacks in size, it makes up for in ambition. News Center Maine's Rob Caldwell explains. When the campus of Bowdoin College is green and lush, a picture of summertime tranquility, it seems a bit odd to consider that this is the home of a museum devoted to the Arctic. And yet, here they are. Objects, photos, paintings, decorative items, all providing an illuminating view of a very different part of the world. These objects and many more belong to the Peary McMillan Arctic Museum, named after the Bowdoin graduates and Arctic explorers Robert Peary and Donald McMillan. The museum's mission is, in large part, to engage people with the Arctic and show what an extraordinary place it is. And so we follow up on that and talk about the beauty of the Arctic and sort of the, the, the lush animal life of the Arctic and the people that live in the Arctic and this Arctic that is, um, that is their home and the place they want to be more than any other place. One of the museum's aims is to break down some persistent stereotypes. Everybody, you know, you say the Arctic and they think cold and dark and dangerous, almost uninhabitable, um, and none of those things are really true. Roughly half of the thousands of items in the museum's collection were donated by Donald McMillan, who from 1908 to 1957 made more than 30 expeditions to the Arctic. So yes, the museum is telling stories of the Arctic's past, but also of its present and future, particularly as the climate grows warmer. The Arctic is a more dynamic place than most people think. And it's also not frozen in the past, so to speak. It's a vibrant, modern community of people living up there. And so we want to we wanna tell people what the past was like, but we also want to educate them about what everyday life is up there now. The museum has just moved into a brand new building, one that is extremely energy efficient. It uses no heating oil or natural gas. All its electricity comes from renewable sources, mostly solar. One of the materials the structure is made of is mass timber. Lighter material to transport, lighter material to assemble. So in this building, the mass timber was able to get us a 80% reduction in embodied carbon in this building compared to a steel and concrete building. That was really important. When you set out to construct this building, you wanted, to, you wanted it to be environmentally friendly, to be a really advanced green building, and right. with this... That's how we get there. You've succeeded? Yes, yes. It's just a few hundred yards across campus from the museum's old home to its new one. Even so, the move was a challenge. Some of the objects in the collection required an unusually delicate touch. Look closely and you'll see in this crate a large stuffed walrus. It wouldn't fit in the elevator, thus the need for this special operation. The objects may be familiar, but in the new building, they can be seen with a fresh eye. To be able to put things out and have them get a bit more breathing space and, and be able to have them in an exhibit, say, where you can walk all the way around them and see them from all sides, that really does help show off the collection. In recent years, museums have become increasingly interactive, and the move gave this institution a chance to make improvements, such as QR codes next to displays. So you can take your smartphone, and you can actually sometimes listen to the collector tell the story about the object that's on exhibit. Even from the outside, the museum makes a statement. It has a very different look from the other buildings on campus. And I understand the building already has a nickname, the Black Iceberg? <laughs> there is some people do refer to that. <laughs> Absolutely. It all adds up to a rebooted, rejuvenated institution, the only museum in the lower 48 devoted to the Arctic. And the hope now is that... More people will find us and learn about us and, and come to see us and, and, and enjoy the bounty, really, of the museum. Busting some misconceptions. That's mm -hmm. cool. The Peary McMillan Arctic Museum on the Bowdoin College campus is open Tuesday through Saturday and on Sunday afternoons. Very, very cool. Thanks so much for being with us today on News Center Man at 4. Your News at 5 starts right now.